Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Unavowed. Now we've just been speaking to this lady here as we look for a password for the computer. Uh, we've got this PW equals heart thing here. Uh, and Daredevil very kindly pointed out that I did actually get a name from this lady, but I completely missed it. It was at the beginning of the conversation. So I went back and uh, re-watched the last one. And she, we sort of asked if she was okay and she said uh, something along the lines of she's just fine. Just so we are clear, we are not calling you master. Okay, said so something along the lines of she's fine, tell everyone Wendy is fine, and I just completely didn't pay attention to it. So, I'm guessing that her name is Wendy from that, so we're going to go through here, we're going to try Wendy on this computer and see what happens. Um, if it's not that, the only other thing I've got to go by is this photo. Uh, there's a bit of a name on the jumper. I don't know if we can see all of it though, so maybe we'll have to try and see that, but let's try Wendy first. Uh, it was this, wasn't it, journal? Wendy. Password accepted, nice! Entry 1. Master says I should start this journal explaining who I am and how I got here. My name is Jordan. Three months ago I was fired from my job at a crappy electronics store. Two weeks ago my landlord evicted me because I couldn't pay the rent. I was on the streets in the middle of this brutal winter. The homeless shelter was completely full. I thought I was going to freeze to death. Master found me, so we're Master, aren't we? She brought me here, she gave me clothes and warm food and this laptop. She insists I keep a journal of my experiences here. And that's the, the flashback that we saw. She also says I should call her Master, that's fine, I don't care. I'm safe here and I'm not leaving. Heck, if it keeps me alive, I'll call her God. Entry 2. The Master brought, me a, few, brought a few more people in. They're all homeless like me, they're all sick. This old guy has lung cancer so bad he's coughing up blood. There's this girl named Wendy who looks to be in incredible pain, so that's the girl that we spoke to. Me? I'm still cold. It's so hard for me to get warm, but at least I'm not dying. Entry 3. Master brought us downstairs. There's a tree growing up through the floor. A tree! Master said that it's an altar of life, and it will protect us and heal us if we do the same. She will teach us how. All we have to do is let her cut us, and we bleed on the altar. Okay, so now that explains what the altar thing is down in the basement. Entry 4. Oh my god, the energy! Oh man, it's incredible. I'm warm, I'm warm, so, so warm, it feels so good. So, something from the tree. Entry 5. I've never felt this good. The cold has completely left my body. The old guy's cough is gone. He's even breathing normally. So they're healed. And Wendy is walking around without any pain. Praise the master. Entry 6. There are seven of us now. Master has been cutting us every few weeks. It seems crazy, but we heal up right away and we're healthy. That's the important thing. Praise the master, I would be dead if it wasn't for her. We all would. Entry 7. Merry Christmas, the tree is growing. There's grass on the floor of the basement, it's concrete. With the master, anything is possible. Entry 8. The master needs to leave for a while, and now I'm being put in charge. Uh, I'm so honoured, maybe I should pass her protect this laptop since I'm so important now. Entry 9. It's nice having my privacy, but it's kind of lonely in here. I asked Wendy if she would stay the night with me, she said yes. 10. I cut the old guy. He bled like crazy. He didn't heal. I had to run out for bandages. Thank God he's okay. So was that the old guy on the floor? Did he bleed out then? Entry 11. It's freezing in here. I turn the radiator up to full blast, but it does nothing. Entry 12. Wendy is limping. The old guy is coughing. I can't stop shivering. The ritual doesn't work anymore. Master, where are you? You've been gone for almost two months. Two months? Entry 13. Can barely feel the keys. Hands are numb. I can't help these people anymore. I can't help myself. Entry 14. I have to leave. I'm sorry, Master. I can't do it. Putting Wendy in charge. I'm sorry. Okay, so. Interesting. Blood rituals used for healing <coughs> is perverse and wrong. Yeah. It may be wrong, but it does explain the forest downstairs. It's unspent life energy. It created excess life. Beauty can hide all manner of evil, Eli. You know this more than anyone. Uh, okay, so how do we stop it? That is the question, is it not? We know what happened, just not how. If I understand that journal right, the ritual stopped working when the, uh, <clears throat> master left. Mm. Which means that only you, or rather your demon, could perform it. Then why leave Jordan in charge? That's a good question. One more reason to track it down. In the meantime, I really want to know more about this ritual. Yeah, so let's get to After it. After you. Alright, so let's go down into the basement um, and see if we can figure out anything now from the altar. And then 
I guess we can go back to the square or whatever, because I think there was someone... Okay, can we look at this again? Nothing new. Okay, so we've got... We've got all this here. We can't talk to that ghost at all. We can't do it. Okay, it doesn't look like we can do anything else here. So, let's go back to the square. We'll try talking to Wendy. And we'll try talking to... Because there was another person there that I think we could talk to as well. So, we'll try that. Uh, it was this person here. Let's see if we can speak to this person. Uh, no, it's not the lady in the photo. Hi. She's lost in her own world. Maybe we should just leave her alone. Ah, okay. Rough or not, she doesn't seem to mind. So it doesn't look like we can actually talk to her. Interesting. Uh, this guy we can't talk to at all, so Wendy we can talk to. And we've also got that police officer as well. Uh, we read Jordan's journal. Shit, I knew I should have tossed that computer. Oh, the cat's out of the bag now. You proud of yourself, master? Not really. Uh, I wasn't the one doing blood rituals. Whatever you think I did, it wasn't me. Was it all true? I mean, did you teach us all how to do those blood rituals? Yes. You took us all in. You saved us, I guess. Maybe. Every month you'd do the ritual. You'd cut one of us. We'd bleed on the altar. Then you'd say those words, and we'd heal. Ah. Better, stronger, faster than before. What it was words? like a drug. Life energy. That's what you were being fed. That explains the wildlife in the basement. It must be residual life magic. Whatever it was, it felt good. Uh, so... What happened next? It all ended, is what happened. Jordan was so happy when you put him in charge. He tried, he really did. But he just got too sick. But whatever you did to us, the healing, it stopped working when you left. So he put me in charge. Me. And I just made things worse. Okay. Why did he put you in charge? He loved me. He trusted me to do the right thing and do right by everyone. I didn't expect I would... that I... I cut with a knife. I said those stupid words again and again and again. It didn't work, so I had to try harder. What were the words? The murdered man in the basement. You took the blood ritual too far. Ah. It was an accident, I swear. Okay, so it was an accident. Yes. I put him on the altar. I took the knife and I killed him. I was nervous, I guess. I thought that was the end of it, but then... But his then... spirit, it came back. Right. It was horrible. We couldn't stay. Every time it saw us, it would scream. Okay, so it drove you out. Yes, and so I came here. I don't want to be around people anymore. You speak the truth. You believe me. Hooray. <laughs> it is not a matter of belief. I simply know what truth is. Thank you for sharing it with us. Well, there's no point in lying anymore, is there? Nope. The master here was just as much involved as me. And something tells me you aren't going to turn her in. Uh, that's a bit complicated. Uh, where's that knife now? You said you needed healing. What's wrong with you? No, let's ask about the knife first. You think I'm an idiot? Passed it down a storm drain. Oh. What? Why did you do that? Why do you think? It's probably halfway to Jersey by now. And <laughs> good riddance. Or it's down that drain. Uh, okay, you said you needed healing. Cerebral palsy on my left side. Ah. It was bad before. I could barely handle sewer duty. It's much worse now. Uh, sewer duty? You seriously don't remember? The pipes in the building leaked. Overflow from the sewer. It was disgusting. You couldn't exactly call a plumber, so you made us go into the sewer and drain it from there. We went down there so much, Jordan had to swipe a key to the control panel. Ah. Okay. Where's the key to the sewer control panel? You serious? You never wanted to bother with that before. We need that. But whatever. It's to the right of the control panel, behind one of the pipes. Really? <laughs> really? If we're gonna fix this, don't worry. Don't do me any favors. This mess is yours, master. Do whatever you like. Mm, okay, fine. Goodbye and good luck. If I was lucky, I never would have met you in the first place. Yeah, I can see why she feels like that, honestly. Alright, well, let's head back. Um, <coughs> let's go back into the... So I wonder... She threw the knife down a storm drain. Damn it. I can't blame her, but 
Damn it. Damn it, Magically indeed. imbued tools take weeks to make. I really hope to study it. I mean, it might still be down here, I'm guessing. So, if the control thing... So, it's behind the pipes to the right. So, I wonder if we could have found this without that dialogue being given to us. Yeah, oh. there we go. It looks like Wendy was right. Sewer key. So, we use that on here, right? Needs a key. Yeah, well, we've got the key now. Oh, it's actually a key. Rather. I thought it was going to be a key card. Oh. Well, that's... That's good. Oh my god, that's not good. Turn it on! For the love of God, turn it back on! Who the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell are you? Uh, we're just here to talk. Wait. Master? Master! Master, is that you? Is that Jordan? Uh, No. No, you just can't leave me. Not again. Not yet. I bet this is Jordan. Please, I know. I failed you. I couldn't leave them. I was too weak. I tried. I tried so hard, but it was just too much. Okay, yeah, it's Jordan. Uh, you're Jordan, aren't you? I, I was, yes. But I'm not sure who I am anymore. Do you remember, Master, how you found me? Uh, baby. Half to death on the street. I almost died. You saved me. You healed me. Brought me back from certain death. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, but now, you know, it wasn't really... I, I, I feel like we should be honest. That was no demon. <coughs> it was you. You were so kind. You showed me how to heal. We were going to heal the entire city. But I couldn't do it without you. When you left, the power left too. The chill, the cold, it came back. I couldn't stop it. It just got worse and worse. I couldn't heal myself, let alone anyone else, so I left. I had to find something, anything, that could help me get warm again. Okay, it looks like you found it. And what did you find? I'm so sorry, Master. Oh, you said that spell was it's dangerous. A spell. I didn't listen. But I was so desperate. I was freezing to death. The bed in that homeless shelter wasn't warm enough. You taught me a spell that would let warmth into my heart. So I spoke it. Then this happened. Uh, you were inside the homeless shelter when you cast the spell? Yes. They were the only ones who would take me in. No, you misunderstand. The shelter, it burned to the ground. Oh. Was, was anyone hurt? So he set fire to it by mistake. Um, let's focus on helping you for now. Let's dodge that. Do you really think I can be helped? Maybe. <laughs> I don't deserve it. I know I don't, but if there's any chance... Help me before I hurt anyone else. Uh, okay, I have some questions first. Anything you want. A knife was tossed down here. Have you seen it? The knife? You mean your knife? I guess so. Yes, I saw it fall down here. I took it. I hid it. Just in case you ever came back. Could you get it for us? I'd love to study it. I suppose after you help Of me? course, of course. All right, fine. We spoke to Wendy. I didn't want to leave them. Wendy, least of all. She leads them now. She's keeping them all safe. Uh... Okay, Eli, can you do anything? I don't know that we should tell him that. I've been trying, but the fire, it's different. It's self-generating, self-sustaining. Even submerging himself in water couldn't snuff him out. I've never seen anything like it. Dark fire that I I'm guessing. I need to know more about his condition before I can even attempt a cure. Okay, um... She, let's tell him then. She... she what? Why would she do that? Standard escalation. More blood, more power. I want this to end. Please, just let it all end. Master, this is all too much. <coughs> well, we'll I try and help him. You. Faithfully, and you left when I needed you the most. How do I know you won't leave again? Cure me, help me. 
do that and I will get the knife for you gladly. Okay, uh, okay, we'll be back. Thank you, Master. We'll try and find a way to help him, I guess. Um, so, if he's the one who burnt the place down, maybe we have to head back to that place now. Poor guy. Yeah, that was uh, he pretty. He played with powerful brutal. magic he had no business using. Yeah, this is the place, right? So it's been burnt down. So, so he must have come yeah, in man. here and burnt it down. Uh, is there any chance I can take a look around back there? Um, no. In case it wasn't clear, this is a crime scene, which means stay back. Fine. Uh, do you know anything about the village I building? They went out of business, didn't they? Squatters were living in that building for a while, but I think they've cleared out. You let them stay there? The owner never filed a complaint, so legally we weren't required to investigate. Didn't stop us from keeping an eye on the place, though. Okay, so you saw nothing illegal going on at the village eye. Nothing we could see from the outside, no. But to be honest, it wasn't exactly high on our priority list. Yeah, okay, you need to let me back there. Oh, really? Give me one reason. Uh, bartender, is it such a big deal? You don't seem like you really want to be here. Well, no, I don't. What makes you say that? Uh, you're obviously upset about something. It's not just the rain. You want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. I can tell your face is an open book. Yeah, let's do this one. Ah, oh, what the hell. You ever feel helpless? Powerless? Like there's too much shit going on and you can't do a damn thing about sometimes, it? Sometimes, yeah. Uh, all the time these days. Everyone feels like that sometimes. I can't say... Yeah, all the time. Then you know what I'm talking about. I'm an officer of the law. I'm supposed to be out there doing something, not stuck behind a desk or here doing guard duty. I know I could make a difference if I was just given a damn chance. Okay, well, how would you feel about being an unsung hero? We know who did this and we're going to do something about it. Then do something. Let us take a look around. We can help. <coughs> uh, yeah. What? Just let you through? Yeah. You're serious, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You really think you can help. Jesus, I must be crazy. I must be insane. But something. I don't know what. Something tells me I can trust you. Yes. Get inside. And quickly. I'll give a shout if someone comes by. Nice. All right, thank you. Just get the guy who did this. So we are inside. I begin to understand why you were hired as a barkeep. Yeah. You had him eaten out of the palm of your hand. <laughs> you have an enviable gift for empathy. We will discuss this later. Let us find what we came for. Alright then, guys. Well, we're going to look for what we came for in the next one. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.